What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out the second half of the brand new 2021 Panini Prism Football Hobby. Six box half case break. Pick teams number two. Remember, all cards ship. And again, nothing super, super crazy in this first half. So we're all kind of expecting there to be something pretty big in the second half. And uh, like I said, if you have a character sign and a little pack filler symbol, most likely you want that from a team random slash pack filler team random. So there you go. And everybody else, of course, is straight up. And uh, I did write two. Where did it go? Two on all the boxes. It looks like a horrible two, but it is a two. So you can see there's like twos all over, just to let you know from the same case. And here we go. The many describes them as pork tenderloin stuffed with sweetened cream cheese and green onion wrapped in applewood smoked bacon dipped. My, that sounds very, that sounds delicious. It's like so many ingredients. DB saying uh, anybody a big Chiefs fan in here by any chance? Trying to see what a trade value I should put on a Nike Swoosh Auto PSA 10 Clyde Rosalaire football. I got from a mystery kit yesterday. Nice. I don't know what the value of that potentially would be, but I think everything in the mystery kit was at least almost the spot price. For at least the worst hit at least, is at least. And then obviously the biggest hits were like is over a thousand to like fifteen hundred to two thousand. There you go. Case hit. Little patch. So we hit two of those in the the three box of random teams already, so. Maybe we have two hiding here. All right, also two guys. You guys see that right there? Gold, gold. Got a gold. And it's Kareem Hunt for the Browns gold. 10 of 10. So not a color blast that Anthony wanted, but maybe he'll take a gold to start off. Maybe. Kareem Hunt. We actually hit the Brady today, DB. I don't know if the Messi's still there. That's that if, was that one of the last remaining cards too? Chad Johnson. So we got Gerard Dokes to seventy five. AJ Brown to two forty. High law for the Patriots. Logan Thomas. Oh, the Messi was here. I wonder what hits are we missing? We only have two cases left. What are we missing, guys? Probably get one, another one of those done tomorrow. Michael Thomas. Wow, oh, this penny sleeve is really stuck to each other. See that? Man. James Conner. Freaking Brock Lesnar. Isn't that so cool? This dude is like a legend. He's like in WWE Prism, NFL Prism, and UFC Prism. <laughs> Devontae Smith and Chaz Surratt 
for the Vikings. All out, Patty Mahomes inserts. Trey Lance, Jamison Crowder. Yeah, I don't know what happened with those DBs. Someone was saying that, I think Harry said they weren't uploaded. I'm like, what the hell, man? I have to see why Joe didn't upload them. See if I can try to find the videos now. Yeah, him and uh, Roman Reigns, right? I think Roman Reigns tried out for the Jaguars. We have a Jerome Bettis. Wow, Dan the Man Marino autograph. Very nice for the Dolphins, EA. Solid. Bus, blue ice. To 99. Brandon Ayuk. Whoa, that is horrible centering. A little too much to the to the right. <laughs> Demetric Felton for the Browns. It's 125. And Rashad Bateman, a little RPA for the uh, Ravens. Going to Aaron Binsley. There you go, Aaron. We got Devin Singletary. DJ Chark Jr. And very nice. Actually, what a last, good last part of the break. Or the box, I should say. Nice. A uh, little better center right there. Mac Jones. A little true silver. That should sell well. Uh, Casey bought the Patriots straight up. There you go. It is, Adam. It is. Blue raspberry. Or is it blueberry or blue raspberry? I forget which one it is. The flavor. It's delicious. Uh, it was... Um, it came out actually in a show. It was Warren Sapp. Which I believe The Rock was actually the starter, but got injured and had to sit out most of the year. And then Warren Sapp took over. And then it really was downhill for the, for the Rock. I mean, Warren Sapp was like the guy at Miami and really didn't get to be a starter anymore. Which I believe, too, Warren Sapp was like a converted tight end, I want to say. I mean, very athletic guy, actually. But I remember Warren Sapp being a legend there too, though. But they kind of explained it in the Rock Show too. Oh yeah, you know who won the Bourbon Bowl in the '90s? DB, who came in halftime and came and saved, saved the Bourbon Bowl. <laughs> Whatever the saying is. <laughs> Who won the Bourbon Bowl MVP? All right.
Chris Evans. To one forty nine. Hardy Nickerson. Woo! I mean, not woo if it's Carson Wentz, but woo! Nice color. <laughs> oh, Wentzy, you had a chance there in Indianapolis, but down the stretch did not work out for you. Sucks. But nice hit, though. Little camel color match, Arthur with the Colts. Mike Jaspi is not in Japan. He probably just posted a photo when he went. He was literally just here like three hours ago. So unless he can teleport to Japan from Hermosa Beach, he's definitely not there. <laughs> Stephen Kendra got it. Coach Klein to 240 uh, to 225. That's right, DB. Now I remember. Yeah, I, uh, I I I got into college football like right after I started loving the Eagles and started following the Ducks. Like when Dennis Dixon was there, like in 2004, 2005. Panesuo. Marquis Colston, but it's okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure you hate the Ducks, which is fine. Me and Chad always go at it. It's just fun times. But uh, during high school when I played football, I loved Jake Locker. We actually had the same colors as the Washington Huskies. We had gold helmets, and our Vikings uh, helmets was like purple, right? We had the Mountain View. Um, and then we had like purple pants, purple jersey, or gold pants, white jersey, etc. So we basically were like the Washington Husky colors. Well, Damian Tomlinson to 225. Kevin Byard and a Davis Mills silver. And then Marquise Colson's going to the Saints and Stephen Flat as well. Robert Woods. 125. And also, too, guys, I have seen some really terrible quality control with the base cards. Thankfully, it hasn't really affected the color cards, but as you can see, uh, I don't know. Card feels complete, but it's like missing some pieces to it. So, it's just the base cards, though. I feel like it's been affected most. Mike Gasecki. To 99 and Tylen Wallace, Baltimore Ravens. It looks like it's dinged, right? It's definitely not dinged at all. It's just literally missing, like color right there. All right, here we go. Cam Jordan to 249. Jordan Poyer to 199. AD is AD gonna come back, guys? Is he asking for like a ridiculous amount of money that he probably deserves anyways, or is he gonna retire? I mean, he's made it clear that he doesn't need football anymore. He has his awards. He has a Super Bowl ring. He's a future Hall of Famer no matter what. I assume that he just wants to be the highest paid player in NFL history, right? For his position, I should say, at least. Des Fitzpatrick. To 99. And then we got a Jalen Hurts all out. Nice. That's awesome, man. Oregon actually plays uh, Georgia this year. In back-to-back -back years. Which is going to be kind of fun and interesting. 
They might end up losing, most likely. Georgia's a powerhouse school, but we did get their defensive coordinator. who's a fabulous coach, so we'll see if Dan does uh, do well with us. So that should be fun, though. All right, next one. Yeah, which I don't think he's that bad, but yeah, he's like a, definitely like a senior by now. He got like an extra eligibility due to COVID. Uh, what's his name again? Um, Bo Nixon. He might do well. I mean, throughout the years, Oregon, you know, after losing Mariota, losing Justin Herbert, haven't done bad with their like transfer quarterbacks. I don't know if you guys remember Vernon, Vernon, uh, Vernon Adams. I think he played like at East Washington, the red, the red, uh, red field school. He did great for Oregon, and he's having his career up there in the CFL, kind of like Jeremiah Masoli is. But yeah, they've they've done pretty well with like transfer quarterbacks. But I mean, they you know hit a home run with Herbert and Mariota. I personally thought Vernon Adams was good enough to be in the NFL. He just had, like, that playmaking ability. He wasn't the biggest quarterback, wasn't the fastest, but, you know, he can make plays, though. He won the East-West Shrine uh, NFL, uh, or the East-West Shrine uh, MVP, but I just don't think teams wanted to give him a chance, like, in the NFL, so he's, he's up there playing in the CFL now. But Jeremiah Masoli, legendary Oregon quarterback, he's made a career up there, actually, in the CFL. All right, Trey Nixon. Oh, did he actually get to play with Cooper Cup? Yeah, that's the same uh, school that Cooper Cup went to. I just remember them having that red field. Laramie Tunsil. Devontae Parker. Oh, and a purple power, George Kittle. Autograph, number to 49. For the 49ers going to Alfonso. Eric Dickerson to Davius White. Damn, did he really? That's crazy. Juju Smith Schuster. And Marcus May. Jeremy Shockey. Larry Rounder. Corey Littleton. Trey McKinney, 75, and Chad Johnson.
That was one game. I think I remember that on TV. That was one game I remember watching with Vernon Adams one of his, that year he was there with us. I think it was like Arizona State, Curtis Martin in the 75. Like basically last minute to like tie the game. He's like threw it up like a prayer. And um, I forget the name of the tight end that caught it. Jay Tufeli for the Jaguars. But that was such an amazing play. And then I just remember them like destroying <laughs> like uh, USC and like or UCLA, one of those two schools. Devontae Smith. I don't know. I personally just love it when they just beat like USC. I hear all the the USC talk of like, oh, you know, we get all the top recruits and la la la, but yet they still don't win. Baker Mayfield. Let's see if it changes this year. Everybody's all up on them because of uh, the coach that left Oklahoma because he knew that he was going to get his butt kicked in the SEC. But, um,. I don't know. USC's overrated to me. You did, Pizzle. And guess who won, Pizzle? Case hit here potentially. I think so. Yes, I think it is a case hit. No, not Rex. Come on, Rex. You got, I mean, uh, not Rex. Come on, Pizzle. You got to pay attention to the schedule, man. No, I was going to say that spam account, but I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what it was called again. What was the spam account called again? Don't... Don't download Tinder. <laughs> I've only been to Eugene once and I drove through it. I uh, was coming back from Canada and took a little family trip. I met my wife and her family up in Victoria, but we drove back down. So I went through Seattle, went to Portland, and then made a pit stop in Austin right there, or uh, to see Austin Stadium, sorry, in Eugene. So much green grass everywhere, so different here than California. It was really nice and beautiful. But uh, never been to a game up there, but I've been to plenty down here. Anytime they play USC, UCLA, I always pretty much go. I've been to like three Rose Bowl games. I went, uh, most recent Rose Bowl game with Justin Herbert. I went to uh, 2015 semifinals of Rose Bowl against Mr. Crab Legs in Florida State. And then I went to uh, the Rose Bowl game in 2011, I believe, when they beat Ohio State too. Or not Ohio State, they beat Wisconsin, I should say, sorry. Andre Reed. And a Devontae Smith Silver. Kevin Smith with Maggles. Corlin Sun. Yeah, I would like to experience the Oregon Ducks game in Oregon and Eugene one day, but We'll see if I ever make my time. I usually, I don't really go up north at all for anything. Javon Holland, I usually go down south. <laughs> C.D. Lamb. Woo! I thought that was a freaking Mac Jones for a second. But it's Ramondre Stevenson. Patch autograph. So it seems like there's been two 
in every case. And then we got Shane Buscelli to 60. That's awesome, man. And you got to see the Saints Washington game. RG3's first start. Nice. AD, Aaron Donald. Whoa, excuse me. Sorry about that. Tony Romo. Some of the cards sometimes get stuck. Alright, next half here. Carson Wentz to 225. We got LT, Chargers. Zach Cunningham. Kyle Vannoy. Racy McMath. 249, Stefan Diggs. Mac Jones, we got Derek Barnett out of 149, and a very nice emergent Zach Wilson. That's number 19 out of 99 for the Jets and Grant. Austin Eckler with a Jason Tatum. Well, not Jason Tatum. Why did I say that? Jason Taylor. I don't know why I said Tatum for. I just caught myself right now. <laughs> Jason Tatum for the Dolphins. EA. What the hell, Jason? I'm thinking of basketball right now. Austin Eckler to 125. Mac Jones and a Jeremy Shockey. Yeah. yeah I am a little bit, Michael. Nah, <laughs> just joking. That nah, happens every once in a while. Ducks play Hawaii in 2024? Nice. All right. Two more boxes, guys. Two more boxes. They played Tyler Love Attack. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. How about those Celtics, though, yesterday, man? I wasn't watching the game. I seen the highlights. Man, they were losing by, like, 15 points plus. And then just come back and destroy. They don't miss. Are you? Adam? Nice, man. It was a very cheap game, isn't it? And should be a good game. The Eagles game I'll probably go to this year only is probably going to be Arizona. Yeah, unbelievable, right? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't like believe the stats. Like they were down by like 15, 16 points, whatever it was, like with a minute left in the third, and I was like, damn. But the fact that they scored 40, unbelievable, it's crazy. Yeah, I think a lot of us did, right? I think a lot of people were like, man, Steph is just six threes already. 20 plus points in the first. He's gonna go for 60. But see, that's the one thing with, with the Warriors is that you live and die with those shots and especially the threes, like, 
there are a lot of games that, that the Warriors lose when they kind of go cold. I mean, they start off hot, right? But, I don't know. I think that was, like, the biggest shock. I think they were so surprised that that happened. I mean, you don't expect to score that many points in a quarter, but that's also because you're, like, literally making every single shot, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's, that's, yeah. It'd be amazing if, like, Every team, like, scored, like, 75% of their points and shots. We'd have, like, 140, 150, like, point games, like, every game. But a lot of missed shots throughout all the all the teams throughout the, the game. Ramondre Stevenson to 249. I also seen yesterday, too, guys, is... Uh, Phil Knight and a Dodgers co-owner make a a bid to purchase the Portland Trailblazers to pull, most likely keep them in Portland. That should be interesting. Devontae Parker. Does Paul Allen want to like potentially like get get the Seattle team? I mean, does the Seattle team potentially already have an ownership if they if they uh, become a team, an expansion team? Dante Fowler. I mean, it makes sense. Dan Marino. Dante Fowler. Very nice Pat Tillman silver. The metric Felton. 225 for the Browns. All out. Patrick Mahomes insert. No offense. Austin Ackler. Oh, that's right. He did pass away, right? Wait, am I thinking of the right guy? Yeah, right? The guy that owns the Seahawks? Kellen Mond. So, no matter what, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, but maybe they don't have to sell yet, right? That's the whole point. Des Fitzpatrick, nice little color match right here. For the Titans, Tennessee Titans, Arthur Hackett, 13 out of 25. And Bradley Chubb. Wow, we got a Brock Lesnar number card. Vikings. It's going to Brandon. 7 out of 175. Trey Lance. Jamar Chase. 125, Mike Gusecki. Pene Sewell Silver. 
All right, last stack right here, and then we'll go to the last box. And Levante David. Purple power to 49. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oh, this pack literally had less than 12 cards, it feels like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. That's all good, it's all good. I just know like things that go around here in LA, so I'm kind of the same way. I don't listen to the radio so much, but Twitter is my, is uh, where I get all my information. All right, last box guys, good luck. Let's see what we can find here. Trey McKitty. So 15, Devin Bush, Justin Fields, Darius Leonard to 225, Thurman Thomas. For sure, and this is his chance to actually like own a basketball team too. Basically. I don't know if that was like on a bucket list for him. The fact that there's an opportunity. Because I feel like anybody that loves sports and would love to be an owner will be jumping all over this, right? But not really often when a team gets put up for sale, especially with American sports here now. No agree. James Robinson, 299. All right, last act here. Should have some autos here. See a blue camel, I think it looked like. Another little bit of a teaser, James Rob. Whoa! Woo! All right, I'm gonna put that down right there. 24 to 25, James Robinson, blue camel. And back-to-back -back Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, green scope. That's what we were looking for. Four out of 75. Jaguars bought straight up Jesse. That's more like it right there. I don't think this is a chip. I don't know if you can see that right there. I think it's like an extra piece of like cardboard. So I feel like you can kind of like take that out with like a tweezer or something. Because it doesn't seem chipped to me. It's like an extra piece. If you guys can see that. But just, just point that out right there just in case. So. Trey Lance. And a Jonathan Taylor for the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I usually don't pull too much T-Law. I've, I've been more of a Mac Jones kind of magnet, but I don't mind.
Yeah, well, I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. Ooh, Davis Mills. Nice purple color uh, color right there. Houston Texans, that is uh, Sean Maddock. And then 2 2 Atwell for the Rams. Nice way to end the last box here, though. So I think I feel like we were looking for a bigger hit. So maybe on average, I guess that's what they say, right? On average for color, uh, for uh, stained glass. Unless it is hiding right here, but we didn't get one in this case, it looks like. Anthony Barr. Jeffrey Simons. Jalen Phillips to 225. All right, last stack right here. Looks like just a red. Hayden Hurst to 149. There you go, guys. Nice little way to end off uh, the last six box half case break of uh, Prism there with a little T-Law. Uh, but here were more of the bigger colors and names there. Little Davis Mills, Brock Lesnar, Chubb Autograph, Death with Patrick, Kellen Mond, Jason Taylor, Mergen Zach Wilson, Ramondre Stevenson, Devontae Smith, uh, Silver, Tofali, Smith Hyper, George Kittle, Davis Mills, Silver, Marquise Colston, Mac Jones, Silver. Rashad Bateman, Dan Marino, and Kareem Hunt. So there you go. Not too shabby there at the end. So again, um, pick your team number three is in a team filler. I have 17 orders to go through. Jesus. So I don't know if number three sold out. If it did, we'll do that after. Well, actually, we can probably do that next. It doesn't look like random team number four sold out. So um, looks like we have one left straight up and then 14 left. Pretty much almost halfway there in the pack filler. So yeah, maybe pick your team number three will be coming up next. And then we're halfway through the last three boxes of random teams of football prism. So let's definitely get that going. Jaspies, casebreaks.com guys. Appreciate it.